What have we here? Hi, Steve. Hi. Nice to meet you. Welcome. So what do you do? Oh, oh sorry, oh. our power coupler. We'll get that. Okay. Is it's that a, Hondo it's, again? It's a hunk of junk. It, these things happen. Okay. So what do you do, Steve? I'm the ride project engineer, so I was responsible oh, wow. for designing and, and building this ride. Attraction. So we're sitting um, in the in the middle of the Falcon, yes. Millennium Falcon. Yes. And as you said, it's the fastest heap of junk in the galaxy. Yep. This this is the holding bay of the the fastest hunk of junk. Yep. And we're in the the middle of the ride for smugglers. Well, sorry, Millennium Millennium Falcon smugglers ride. Absolutely. Get that right. Um, so. Tell me about the ride. So we went to extreme detail in creating this. We all flew out to London, we visited the set, we documented all the details of the Millennium Falcon and we reproduced them here. And so you can come in, you get your boarding passes, you can decide if you're a gunner or an engineer or a pilot, and then you're free to explore. And then once your group is called, you go fly the Millennium Falcon. So what did you learn from visiting the set of Pinewood to, to enable you to recreate this amazing interior? Well, we just went through and picked out all the details. Like we have Luke's helmet for that he was le learning to use a lightsaber with. Yep. We have some Porg nests here. Yes. Remember when the Porgs invaded the absolutely, Falcon? Absolutely. We've got most of them out, but they're still around. There's nests around. Every now and then you hear them chirping in the background. Right. We don't see any Porgs though. No, I don't think, I think we've got most of them yeah. out of here. They've yeah. all been cool? Yeah, that's good, that's good. Because you don't want them chewing through all the cables. No, 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 they're dangerous. That would be really, really bad. Yeah. So what was, what were the difficulties or the, you know, the, the challenges of bringing this amazing ride to life? I think the biggest thing is this is a fully interactive ride. You are flying the ship. And so we have to real time generate theatrical quality graphics and motion cueing as you're flying. When we started this ride, that technology wasn't even available. So we find ourselves kind of looking over the horizon, trying to figure out what's going to be there when we need it. And what isn't going to be there, that's what we go and invent. Okay. And I mean, details like this with the Dejaric table, mm -hmm. I mean, you've really nailed every single detail down to the, you know, the keys and everything. Yeah. And, and it's all interactive. You can touch it. You can climb on it. You can, you can experience this spaceship as if it was your own. And was that a prerequisite in building the ride? Oh, absolutely. We knew guests would want to spend some time in here exploring and just be able to interact with it. And the ride itself, I mean, it's incredible. So the six people go in and I mean, I've ridden it a few times already and the story is different all the time. It changes and evolves. Yeah, it's interactive. You're flying yeah. it and you're controlling your own destiny and you may smash it up a little bit and there's some repercussions. There's been, Hondo's been a little angry every now and then. Absolutely. Have you ridden the ride? Oh, obviously, oh, many, many times. Hundreds, thousands maybe. Okay, and what's your favorite position of the three positions available? You know, I'm an engineer by trade, so I'm okay. partial to that position, okay. but um, pilots are fun as well. Everything is a good time. Absolutely. I think whatever you do, that you know, there's something to do, mm -hmm. and you're, you're involved, and your role is pivotal to the mission. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, don't worry if you get one of the others. It doesn't matter because what you're doing is really, really important. And if you're the engineer, you're sitting in the back, you can see what all your friends are doing. You know who's making mistakes. Yeah, and you can, you can deal with that afterwards. Yep. So tell me what else. I mean, it's just incredible being here. And I mean, it, it gives me goosebumps sitting on the Falcon. Mm -hmm. So how was it visiting the set? And then, I mean, I'm, I guess you're a, a Star Wars fan. Oh, absolutely. And, and you know, the, the thing is when we go to the set or when we visit the set, it's an emotional experience. You sit in the seat that Chewie sat in and it's hard to not get a little bit choked up by Absolutely. that. And it's so gratifying to be five years later and see our guests come off with the same emotional reactions. Like that's when we know we've, we've done our job and it's worked out. Awesome, so what's next? I mean, how'd you top this? Well, we have another ride opening later this year and then who knows from there? Awesome, awesome. So, I mean, looking around this room, this amazing room with all this equipment, mm -hmm. what, what are your eyes drawn to? What are you most proud of? I, I think the chiplet hallways. These are our hallways down into the cockpit. They are just, I, I think they're they are so true and authentic to what you see in the movies and, and just that feeling. You, you, you picture Chewie and Han running down that hallway to jump into the cockpit and, and you can see yourself doing the exact same thing. I mean, they evoke so much history for a Star Wars fan, yes. you know, 42 years plus. Yep. And, you know, we've all grown up with this, this amazing thing and now we are, you know, inside it. I yeah. mean, that chance is only available here. Exactly in this amazing place. Well, thank you so much for bringing this to life and uh, for talking to me for a few minutes. Sure. And uh, may the force be with you. Thank you.